Hey, what's up guys? Mike at Red Fox here. In this video, we're gonna see if we can get my 5700s NXTs a little more efficient by switching mining software to Team Red Miner. Let me show you my current setup here. This is a Power Color XT Red Dragon, MSI Mech 5700, Sapphire Pulse XT, and Sapphire Pulse 5700. And right now they're all running off of Phoenix Miner in Hive OS. You can see the hash rates for each card there. And then you can also see the overclocks that I'm currently running for each card there. Now Team Red Miner came out just a little bit ago. And what it promises is efficiency improvements for all AMD GPUs. So that's Polaris, Vegas, Radeon 7s, which is an awesome boost. Uh, 5700s and XTs and 5600 XTs. So what it's looking to do for the 5700 XTs is shave off of as much as 8 to 9 watts of power and it has this new B mode but what I'll probably have to do is switch up my overclocks a little bit which took me quite a while to get settled so I'm not excited about it but if I can save a little bit on efficiency then it's absolutely going to be worth it you can see currently what I'm running so I thought what we do first is take notes of the efficiency of this four card rig and see if the work we do switching miners and tinkering with overclocks gets us a little bit more efficient. So what I've done is written down what our current performance is. So we're at 231 mega hash with these four cards. And that's a quick note of my overclocks. And it's running 650 watts at the wall. As you can see with my power meter there. And that gives me a 0.355 efficiency. So that's going to be our number to beat. If we can get a more efficient and really not lose too much hash rate, then uh, it's gonna be a win switching over to Team Red Miner. So if you look down in the minor notes here, it gives some recommendations for transitioning. And we're gonna look at the 5700 XT and 5700 transitions. And it looks like uh, the few things that I can do is once I switch over, it's gonna, we're gonna make sure that it's in a B mode and we have the right drivers and everything, so it should go automatically into B mode, but we'll check if the miner tells us. And it looks like I could probably drop my core clock down 100 and voltage down 50 uh, and not lose too much hash rate, but I'll be able to uh, save uh, some wattage use, so should be able to get more efficient. So give me one second, I'm gonna switch over my flight sheets, get Team Red Miner going, and then we'll start messing with it and see what we come up with. All right, and there's a look at my idle wattage there with no miner running. So I've went ahead and changed my flight sheet over to Team Red Miner. You can see my overclocks. I've left exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the miner, and then we're gonna look for anything that tells us that we're in some type of B mode. So let me go ahead and type miner into the shell here so we can load it up. Uh, looks like it's still starting. There we go. Let me blow this up full screen so we can get a good look and see if we see anything that's gonna tell me I'm in the right B mode based on the drivers I'm running and the GPUs I'm running. And then from there, we can take a look at what performance we get without touching any of the overclocks and just really switching from Phoenix over to Team Red Miner. See the wattage picking up a little bit there. GPUs are picking up. Looking to see if we get some early hash rates. Okay, what do we got? All right, so this is what we're looking for. So you can see the uh, Ethereum configuration starts with a B. So that means we're in the right B mode, uh, which is great because that's where we need to be to be saving on efficiency. So we'll let the miner settle and tune these GPUs and we'll see what kind of hash rates we get. You see our wattage is already, we already dropped about 30 watts. But we're gonna see uh, what our hash is switching miners here. So let's see what we got. All right, so we're getting up there, 57, 55. So losing about one mega hash per card. So that's 226.8 for the whole rig. So let's do some math and see if our efficiency improved or not. Uh, okay, so two, let's just call it 227. And we're at, let's just say six, 21. All right, 621 on the efficiency, well, on the wattage. 
Uh, and then we're going to do some math and see what we're at for efficiency. So we're going to head and divide 227 by 621. And yeah, we improve. So point three six five on the efficiency. So it went up, uh, what was that, point zero one. So what that means is if you wanted to do nothing but switch miners, you can actually shave off some wattage. Yeah, you're going to lose a little bit of performance there, but you will end up more efficient. So uh, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and mess around with some of these overclocks and see if we can follow what the recommendations are for the transition and drop down our core clock and our voltage. So give me one second and we're gonna try that out. All right, so I went ahead and dropped the core voltage down from 1450 to 1350 and I've had the miner running for a little bit now, so let's open this up, let it redraw, and what are we at? So we're at in 226.8. I think that's pretty much where we were, and we're at 621 watts. So let's compare that to before. So yeah, um, pretty much no change. So I think the real power savings is gonna be if we start adjusting that core voltage, and I think that's the way to go. So I'm gonna see if I could drop that VDD down We'll do it maybe a little bit at a time and see if that really helps us save some wattage here. So let's give that a try. All right, core voltage is dropped down to 775. Let's put this miner full screen and we're gonna see if it impacted our hash rate at all then we'll check out our wattage. So this has been running for a few minutes here and you can see we're still at that 226.8, exactly where we were before with that 800 core voltage. Uh, let's take a look at our wattage. So you can see that the rig wattage dropped actually quite a bit. Uh, let's take a look where we were before. So before we were at 621 watts, and now it looks like we're probably hovering around, we wanna say 607, 607, yeah, I think we're right around 607. So let's take note of that. So same 227, we're at 607 watts, and let's do some calculations and see where we are on efficiency. So that is 227 divided by 607. That's gonna give us a 0.373 efficiency. So we definitely made some improvements. Let's check out the miner one more time, see if we're still looking good. And we are, 226.8, around 607, 608 watts. Uh, so that's uh, definitely a step in the right direction. So I guess the next thing I can do is see if I can challenge that uh, core uh, voltage down just a little bit more from 775 and see if that impacts our hash rate at all. So I'm gonna try that, give me one second. Okay, so I've settled on some core voltage there. I tried 750, but I was getting some crashes and the rig wasn't stable. So I went ahead and changed it up to 760 and I let that run for several hours and it looked uh, great, everything was perfect. So. Right now I'm pulling, what do we see? About 604, 603, 603. I was pulling around 603 watts and my hash rate has stayed exactly 226.8. So I'll round that up to that 227. I mean, do the math there on my efficiency. I'm getting the best efficiency so far. So I'm getting 0.375 efficiency out of everything I've tried on Team Red and when I had used Phoenix Miner. So looking really good, uh, definitely up my efficiency game using Team Red Miner. So I guess the only thing left to do is prove that it is the miner itself and not any of these overclocks. And I'm gonna switch back to Phoenix Miner and leave all of these overclocks the same. And we're gonna see what kind of hash rate we get. And we're gonna see what type of wattage we pull. Let's do it. All right, Phoenix Miner is up and running. It's been running for a few minutes here, so the GPUs have settled out, and you can see we're running around 223 mega hash, which, if you keep a note, is already lower performance than we were getting before with Team Red Miner. And our wattage, we're using about 616, 617 watts in uh, at the wall. So our wattage is up and our performance is down, which is no good, that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and do some math here, and we'll see where we ended with efficiency and what the best way to go is. All right, so we're hitting around 223 mega hash 
and we'll call it 616 watts being used right now at the wall. Let's open up calculator and figure out what our efficiency is going to be there. So 223 divided by 616 gives us a 0.362 on the efficiency. So let's see how that compares. Point three six two. Okay, so we definitely ended up better from where we started with Phoenix Miner. We were originally at a point three five five, but in comparison to using Team Red Miner, uh, it's not good. We definitely want to use Team Red Miner. Team Red Miner seems to be the way to be right now, and we just proved it here. We got our hardware, our uh, wattage readings at the wall, and we can see what our performance is in the software. And what we learned today is that Team Red Miner is telling the truth. They can shave off some wattage and keep your performance and really up your efficiency. And we proved that with our 5700s and our 5700 XTs here. And I know if you got a Radeon 7, it's a no-brainer to switch. Looks like the performance increases on them are absolutely insane. Okay, so a couple notes before we go. If you're Just in case you're a new miner... So you probably have seen the wattage that's reported here in the software. It also would be reported in your miner. Do not use that for AMD. You're gonna probably add like 15, 20, sometimes 30 watts to what that is reading. The best way to do it is to get some type of meter to read at the wall, whether it's something like this or a kilowatt. I'll leave some options in the description below so you can get an accurate reading exactly of what your graphics cards are doing, especially for AMD. Other thing you probably have noticed is that I'm running this one MSI card at a lower memory. That's because I hate that card, and that card sucks. It's got terrible uh, thermal uh, uh, thermals, and it also has Samsung memory, which is not the memory you want for the 5700 series. Micron performs better. So uh, just another note, and just in case you have one of those GPUs. But yeah, guys, I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. If you've been wrestling around with Team Red Miner, let me know where you settled on your overclocks and what kind of performance uh, you're getting, especially compared to Phoenix Miner, any other miner you might have been using. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you all in the next video.